Welcome back makers and enthusiasts, to another captivating tutorial on Mason Up. Today, we have an intriguing project in store for you, integrating the DHT22 temperature sensor with the Arduino Nano. By the end of this tutorial, you'll possess the skills to create your own temperature and humidity monitoring system. Before we delve into the setup process, let's briefly discuss the DHD22 temperature sensor. The DHD22 is a digital sensor renowned for its accuracy in measuring temperature and humidity. It operates using a one-wire protocol and communicates with the Arduino Nano through a single data line. Speaking of the Arduino Nano, if you are new to this amazing microcontroller, we recommend watching Getting Started with Arduino Nano before proceeding with this video. Link in the description. It will provide you with a solid foundation and help you better understand the concepts and steps involved in working with the Arduino Nano. First, let's gather the necessary components. You'll need, Arduino Nano Board, DHT22 Temperature Sensor Module, Breadboard and some connecting wires. Now, let's proceed with the hardware setup. Connect the VCC slash positive pin of the DHT22 sensor to the 5 volts pin of the Arduino Nano. Connect the ground slash negative pin of the DHT22 sensor to the GND pin of the Arduino Nano. Connect the data slash middle pin of the DHT22 sensor to any digital pin of the Arduino Nano. In this tutorial, we will use digital pin 2. Next, let's install the required libraries. To work with the DHD22 sensor, we need to install the appropriate Arduino libraries. Follow these steps. Open the Arduino IDE, Integrated Development Environment. Go to Sketch then include Library and then Manage Libraries. In the Library Manager, search for DHD and locate the DHT Sensor Library by a default. Click Install to add the library to your Arduino IDE. You may also download the library from the link mentioned in the description, and install it to the IDE, by going to Sketch, then include Libraries and add Zip Library. Browse the downloaded file from your computer and install it. Now, let's proceed to coding the Arduino Nano. Make sure to upload this code to your Arduino Nano board. The code begins by including the necessary libraries and defining the DHD sensor pin and model. In the setup function, we initialize the serial communication in the DHT sensor. The loop function reads the temperature and humidity values using the read temperature and read humidity functions, respectively, and prints them to the serial monitor. Finally, a delay of 2 seconds is added between readings to avoid overwhelming the sensor. Let's upload the code to the Arduino Nano and test our setup. Connect your Arduino Nano to your computer using a mini USB B cable. In the Arduino IDE, select the appropriate board from Tools then Board then Arduino AVR Board. Search for Arduino Nano from drop down and select it. Go to Tools then Port and select the relevant port to which the Nano board is connected. Also, from Tools, select the processor ATmega328P, old bootloader or ATmega328P depending on your Nano board. Finally, click on the Upload button to upload the code to the Arduino Nano. If you face any issues uploading the code, first watch our tutorial on the Beginner's Guide to Programming Arduino Nano, link in the description. Once the code is uploaded successfully, open the serial monitor by clicking on the magnifying glass icon at the top right corner of the Arduino IDE. Set the baud rate to 9600 and you should start seeing temperature and humidity readings being displayed in the serial monitor. Congratulations! You have successfully set up the DHT22 temperature sensor with the Arduino Nano. You can now use this setup as a foundation for various temperature monitoring and control projects. Feel free to experiment further by integrating the sensor with other components or adding additional functionality to the code. With the DHT22 sensor and Arduino Nano, the possibilities are endless. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting Arduino tutorials. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. Happy tinkering!